live at 5. We begin with first alert weather. It was a cold, wet start to the day with snow starting last night and not ending until this afternoon. And early this morning, this is what it looked like near 98th and Tower. Snow sticking to that red car there and people shoveling their driveways and scraping off their cars. In downtown Albuquerque, people didn't seem to mind the snow. These two are taking their time walking through it. In the foothills, it looks like a wide wonderland with the snowy covered mountain in the backdrop there. Our first alert weather team told us this storm was coming and it brought us some much needed moisture. Here's Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz to tell us what's next. Well, Doug and uh, Royal, it kind of much behaved the way we thought it would here in the Albuquerque area with temperatures just above freezing. It was one of those pleasant snows where the roads were wet but not snow packed and icy. We can show you some snow totals around the area. We had a fraction to two inches of snow here in the Albuquerque area, but it was sticking with some difficult travel, Santa Fe, and certainly a lot throughout Cedillo, Española, Los Alamos, and the Taos area. But check this out another swath of rain and snow moving in. There's an update to the winter weather advisories and the warnings, and that will be impacting your weekend. I'll update you on that in my first alert forecast. A mix of snow and rain created a hectic day in Santa Fe with businesses and schools closing, but a lot of people took it in stride. This afternoon, crews were busy clearing the road to make for a safer commute. Some people were strolling around the plaza, even taking time to snap some photos. Because of the weather, schools and some government offices closed early, allowing for some people to take advantage of the fresh powder. Some students were released early. The snow did not stop them from rushing out of school. The snow really started to pick up during the morning commute. That caused some issues in places around the metro and on the highways. Action 7 News reporter Kristen Swanson shows you. As the sun came up, the snow settled in on the Albuquerque metro. Flurries first hit on the west side as people started to head to work. But the snow, combined with fog and low visibility, made for slow going in Rio Rancho and on I-25, headed south toward Albuquerque. Emily Cederholm was in the city when the snow started. It's not that bad. I just came from Albuquerque and I feel like people were driving pretty safely. She says as the snow hit the highways, most of it melted into water. It wasn't until she got here, near Cedillo Hill, when it really started to come down. Cederholm was headed back home to Madrid for the day. It's slow driving. It's kind of scary. And I mean, that's all you can ask for really is for people to slow down. In a lot of areas around Albuquerque, like the East Mountains, the snow is starting to pile up, but a lot of it just isn't sticking to the ground. Business owners tried to keep up. Eric Singh got to work early to shovel out this parking lot. I used to live in Los Alamos before. So, so I know how the snow works. Other folks told us they'll spend most of their time over the next two days shoveling and salting to stay ahead of this strong storm. Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Since it was so cold, many New Mexicans warmed up their cars by starting them and then walking away. And tonight we have a warning for you about why it's important not to do that. Just this morning, APD says there were nine cars stolen while their owners warmed them up. They say never leave your car running and assume it's going to be safe. When the weather hits your area, we want to see it. This is snow photos from our U Local page. This was so much of it, it looks like cotton balls sitting on the branches of the bush. And in Rio Rancho, it is a tabletop of snow, and there's three inches on the balcony behind it with white covered roofs in the background. Post your photos and videos to the U Local section of KOAT.com.